early morning. Spot X. Dig the butcher, Cray Slayer. Just gonna chuck the motor on the boat, get the wetsuits on and uh, rip into it. It's dead calm. Beautiful morning, so. Fingers crossed we uh, get onto some good fish and craze today. Alright, get up, had a uh, unripe banana and a uh, warmed up iced coffee, so yeah, not the best start breakfast wise, but hey, we've got something in the guts and um, yeah, I'm gonna shoot out now. It's just a stunning morning, glass over here. Hopefully out further where we're heading, it's the same. But yeah, we'll uh, see you soon out on the water. Come to this new bit of coast here. It's looking bloody beautiful. This viz is incredible. Um, yeah, we're gonna. But just gonna drop the pick in, and um, yeah, we'll go have a look at some snapper and some craze. All the all the good stuff. Everything. All right, mate. Drop it in. Well, I can see the bottom, it's about 10 to 15 meters there, so we are in business. Yeah. Stun over morning. It's quite hard scouting a new bit of coast. Um, you have to be really quiet, stealth, and have a lot of patience, basically checking over every ledge there is, um, looking for snapper, if that's the aim. Uh, what this means is uh, it takes a long time to cover even a short stretch of coastline. Um, but hey, that's all part of the fun. Sometimes it pays off and you just find an awesome new fishy spot which no one knows about, so it's all good. Part of spearfishing. I wasn't seeing much fish life, um, found a pretty nice ledge, 
had one or two small snap at the bottom so crushed up a few kinder at the bottom and let that sit for 20 minutes. The sun was coming up fast and uh, the area was quite shallow. Uh, from what I understand, the snapper move off uh, once that sun comes up into deeper, uh, darker water or somewhere where they can tuck into some shade. So I was having a hard time uh, finding any snapper. Regardless of it being a bit quiet on the fish front, um, it's just such a pleasure diving in winter. Crisp, clean water and um, yeah, just just nice, nice diving. Um, as you'll see soon enough, we get on some crayfish and lobster, which is usually the, the go in winter once they come in to shallow to molt and breed and whatnot. Fish down there. So there's a, um, a poor eye. You might as well shoot it. Digby hadn't shot a poor eye before, so I thought a good chance for him to tick it off the list. Um, quite nice eating if you know how to cook them. You see it? Yeah. Poor eye. They could eat it. Yeah, good. Eh? We saw the fish tuck into this small cave, um, but he had a few security guards in the form of Red Moki blocking the entrance and uh, we just couldn't find him in there so gave up and moved on. Checking the kind of earlier, I'd said earlier, um, nothing much was going on still. A few small snapper, not worth taking, but I saw this nice pigfish, so took him home, needed something, didn't want to go home empty handed. I'd never take more than one or two of these fish, um, usually just one. Just take it easy, guys, on these fish, butterfish, all these little reef species. Um, I know butterfish are quite territorial. I see death piles of about 20 or 30 fish. Just, yeah. Take it easy, get enough for a feed, don't wipe out a whole area. Pretty quiet coastline here, didn't see much at all. Um, <laughs> got one pig fish, that's it, so um, we're going to cruise on and check out some more coastline.
clutch. I saw the unmistakable feelers poking out under this rock and knew I had a nice packy waiting to be grabbed. The pack horse lobster are a lot more slower and docile than the red crayfish but you still just gotta get it in there, go hard and fast. Ready? Yes. Here, Butch. Ha -ha. There's one in there. Right down below me with that big crack. Yeah, deep. Decent size. It's quite far in. Just let me know how you think to get it out. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll come down here. Big. He might be just an eagle. Once I got down there, I could see Digby had had a good scrap with his crayfish and uh, it was all stirred up, so no chance. I couldn't even see him. Moved on. A nice butterfish swam past, and uh, the image of crumbed fish burgers popped into my mind and thought that's it, taking you home mate. You can see on the shot on the butterfish, um, it was a bit of a high shot and the same thing happened on this sleeping poor eye, it uh, went straight above its head, um, couldn't believe it, thing didn't even move, didn't flinch. As you can see the poor eye is still sitting down the bottom there after all this reloading of the gun and whatnot. so um, I decided that's karma for trying to shoot a fish while it's having a sleep. Um, you can see a scorpion fish sitting in this crack here. Uh, it's quite camo. There's a small red down here. Hey? Small red prey down here, but oh, yeah. probably not legal. I reckon those logs, when you pulled that first one, that's where they were last time, eh? Yeah. Where you pulled it, you've only got one, eh? Yeah. Well, I've looked all through there. I could There's a scorpion one. fish down here, so I'll shoot that. A what? Scorpion fish. Oh, yeah. Good eating. Digby wasn't too fussed on the scorpion, but he was here for some crayfish, so uh, we, we had another hunt a bit further up the coast and uh, I started to find some nice reds.
We'd been diving in this area um, pretty much exactly one year before and this exact crack I had uh, found a female and buried and uh, put her back and uh, once again I found the same one by mistake full of eggs so put her straight back in a hole without a bit of stink. But anyways, glad she's still alive. one more butterfish and then we moved on to uh, try one last spot before we headed home. Not a bad picky. Got a red in here, a couple of butters and whatnot, so try a new spot. Well, didn't get that on film. GoPro just died, but just pulled out a monster packy. He's um, shit. He's already ripped my, my hands. I might um, grab this glove on. Saw some horns underneath there and thought they were all right size, but didn't think it'd be this big. This big old boy. Ah. <laughs> He's um big old cray, pretty awesome. Thought it might be molting, but it's rock hard, so um good to take. <laughs> the handful, so man. um this is the one I got earlier. I thought it might be a I thought that one was a good size, but yeah, see the comparison. It's just a donkey, so pretty stoked. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, we got a few few bugs in here. We're doing well. Sun's coming out now. It's turning into a nice day. Um, yeah, pretty stoked with that <laughs> that crayfish. It's a big, probably well, it is by far the biggest um, I've ever got. So yeah, stoked. It's gonna be awesome. Cooked up butter, garlic, chili cray. Can't beat it. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna cruise back in. Try not give away too much uh, land information here, but. Um, yeah, there's a couple more packies there, and um, mate Digby wants to get a nice big one for himself. So um, yeah, we'll a bit more, have a bit more of a search, and then we might head offshore. There's an island um, out here in the ocean which could be holding some um, nice trevally and um, skinfish. That's what I've heard. So stop it there on the way home, and um, that's probably us for today. Cruise back on, to cruise back down to Auckland. But um, yeah, all good. Update you soon. This is the uh, pack horse lobster we uh, put back, he just wasn't quite big enough and he'd come back out of his crack, got a bit staunch um, and finally decided to retreat, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
this tiny little rock cave in the middle of nowhere um, was holding some good packies. You can see one tucked down the bottom here. They were basically all through this little cave network. It was pretty cool to see. There's one on this side tucked. He's just straight up right underneath. Up underneath. On, on my side. Oh, I think something in the middle. He looks alright. Yeah. Uh, is he borderline legal? I have a look on your side. I couldn't get my hand right in there. Pretty easy pickings, found these couple tucked up in this crack and then I saw the nice big feelers of one right up on the, on the roof. So um, had a tussle with him, he dug his legs into the rock but um, managed to free him losing a leg in the battle and uh, yeah it was a nice, nice lobster. plan to take one more crayfish home for Digby and um, just make a plan of attack. I go down and check the cave out. There's still a couple of nice lobster tucked up in the corner there so suss it out. We make a plan and Digby goes down to secure one. I think the one closest to us is legal. He should be able to grab them I reckon. Yeah. Michael Jackson goes down, has a good fight, um, and finally gets his cray out. Must have been those socks. Lucky Charm gets a nice bug. Yeah, that's a nice packy. That's solid. Fuck, <laughs> I was at the end of my breath hold. Oh, bro. You got a good breath hold, eh? Fuck, I was right at the end of my breath hold there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to come up and then you finally ripped it out. That's decent size, eh? That'll be legal, bro. Legal, eh? Nice, bro. Fuck it in there. I've got a seal here, we'll go say hello, eh? Bigger than I expected. Kind of scared me getting out of here.
we have approached this offshore island. Digby tries to throw me out of the boat, um, but yeah, finally get a drop in on it. Greeted with 20 meter viz. Amazing conditions, just dead quiet on the fish fronts. It'll be all right, there's no rock. Deep as. If you like leather jackets and red mochi, this is the spot for you. There was probably literally 100 leather jacks just floating mid-water. Quite a sight to see. Anyways, called it a day and uh, headed back in. That was it.